Welcome to Enterprise Manager 12 Cloud Control. Today we're going to take a look at some of the XLogic management features in Enterprise Manager. Following the login, we find ourselves here at the Enterprise Summary homepage. In order to navigate to the XLogic dashboard, we select from the Targets menu, Systems. From the Type dropdown, we then select XLogic Elastic Cloud, followed by Search. We can drill down into any XLogic Elastic Cloud simply by clicking on the name that corresponds to our XLogic Rack instance. For each of our target types, we can see clearly the up and down status in addition to any incidents that may have taken place. This XLogic view represents both hardware and software, from our high-level application status through the WebLogic stack and corresponding coherence clusters all the way down to the hardware that they're running on. From this high-level view, I can drill down to any incidents that come to my attention for further investigation. For this WebLogic domain, we see three critical incidents. I can drill down into each target type simply by clicking on the corresponding link to that asset. Here we are at the high-level summary of our SOA domain. Each of the summary regions provides us information on the state of our application. The high-level summary domain provides information on the host that is running, I can drill down further into management consoles, whether it be the Fusion Middleware Control Console or the WebLogic Server Console. I see the state of all my servers, of which three are up, and the deployed applications in their corresponding state. For the deployed applications, I see that two are unknown and 18 are in the up state. I can explore to see which of these applications are in, in an unknown state. From our SOA domain target, we have a number of options for monitoring and control. From the WebLogic Server drop-down menu, I have access to Enterprise Manager's lifecycle services. From monitoring, I can take a look at the performance summary of this target, the underlying JVM performance, view all the metrics available for this target to be collected, take a look at the status history, alert history, manage incidents, and black out this target for maintenance. If the metrics I'm viewing indicate a problem, I can drop down further into Diagnostics. Here I can look at JVM Diagnostics with information on the underlying JVM, consult with the Middleware Diagnostics Advisor, and open support cases directly with my Oracle support using Enterprise Manager's Support Workbench. Other lifecycle services include starting and stopping servers, reviewing remote log files, managing configurations and compliance, if additional action is necessary, I can drop down into the WebLogic Server Administration Console or the Fusion Middleware Control Console. This represents the lifecycle services available for each of the targets in my XLogic dashboard. Thank you for taking a look at XLogic Management with Enterprise Manager 12 Cloud Control, your single pane of glass for application to disk management, software and hardware engineered to work together.